Hi. My name is Lee Rosario and I am a professional industrial designer. This is my automotive electric concept model, the H6 Evolution. I designed this model in Rhino 7 and about 90% of the surfaces you see here were created using x nerves. It is important to mention that the video samples you are about to see are simple recreations to showcase x nerves features in a brief way for this example. In design, more time and analysis was spent during the actual creation of the model using x nerves to produce the results you see in the final render. To me, the power of x nerves is equally of value during speed modeling and more delicate situations. In this example, I'll use x nerves to rebuild a section of the rear fascia that will eventually become the area for the tail lights and storage compartment. This will extend from the edge of each wheel well across the width of the car. I like to activate my zebra strips on all tangent, connecting surfaces in conjunction with the zebra stripes option in the x nerves window. Start x nerves. Switch on the preview option, then select curve constraints. Though not shown in this video, I usually start with a broad overbuild of the surface and then break down the surface into smaller pieces as needed. When surface reflections don't line up or produce unwanted artifacts, I use X nerves to rebuild those smaller sections until I achieve the surface quality I'm looking for. X nerves is excellent for quickly building and helping every step of the way over the traditional Rhino commands. Switch to a different view to show better reflections. In this example, I will show a simple example of how I use X nerves to quickly produce the side panels that will eventually become the doors of the car. This demonstration only shows a quick rebuild. During speed modeling, I usually reduce the accuracy requirement. X nerves works nicely during speed modeling and also during final production modeling. During the actual design process, this surface can be broken down further and then rebuilt as needed to achieve good flowing and smaller deviations. X nerves makes that much easier, more controllable and more predictable than Rhino's create surface from curve network command. Here I like to quickly show different X nerves options. Switch on the optimize for quad sided surface option. Quad sided surfaces are also called non trim surfaces. Drag the flatness slider to generate different surfaces. Switch off the optimize for quad sided surface option. Now X nerves generates trim surfaces. You can see the difference when dragging the flatness slider. Switch to a different view to show better reflections. In this example, I'll use X nerves to create the upper portion of the greenhouse. Although this is a relatively easy portion of the car for X nerves, I thought it would be a nice way to demonstrate how I can use X nerves to decide and fine turn the curvature of the roof. Depending on the settings, you can produce a more flattened result, or as I preferred, a more rounded egg like shape. Without using internal constraints, X nerves allows me to quickly toggle through the settings and make those design decisions. I can return to those surfaces later to rebuild with more sections and more precision as needed. Switch to a different view to show better reflections. In this example, I use X nerves to quickly rebuild the front fascia section of the car around a more complex area of the car. I love that once I understand how X nerves works and how I can use it, it handles more complex situations such as this scenario with ease. Again, in this demonstration I only show how to quickly build a complex section of the car with smooth results. X nerves is equally powerful in more precise situations that require finer analysis of the surfaces, especially in complex transitional areas of the car. In this final example, I'll finish off the rear portion of the greenhouse with a simple surface that will eventually become the rear glass. This of course can also be done with standard Rhino commands such as creating surfaces from curves, but to me, the quality and shape of the surface can be unpredictable. X nerves allows me to do patchwork like this with minimal tinkering and experimenting than using standard Rhino commands. X nerves has become a critical part of my workflow for its ease of use, powerful surfacing capabilities and its ability to let me focus on the design process with speed and accuracy. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy X Nerves in your work as much as I do.